Hi there, and welcome to the Chaotic Classroom. In this video, we are going to look at tips on how to answer an exam, or a guide on how to avoid silly mistakes. Tip number one, start the exam paper in a well-rested, which means you need to get enough sleep, calm, so that your brain can function, with an empty bladder and not hungry. The reason for this is because your brain runs on certain things. And if you are super stressed and you are running on empty, you are not going to be able to do what you need to do during this exam paper. Tip number two. You need to have everything that you are going to need in this question paper ready. So please make sure you've got all of the stationery that you need. But at the same time, don't clutter your desk. So if you're not going to need glue in this exam paper, don't bring glue. Tip number three. Don't just start the question paper. Start by reading the instructions first because it sometimes contains vital information that you're going to need. Make sure that you plan your approach to this question paper, which means start with the questions that you, are, that you already know with the guaranteed marks. Then you can always come back to those questions that you weren't exactly sure of because you will have time for those. And remember, some sections are designed to confuse you, so leave those for last. Tip number four, manage your time. Most question papers have a set number of marks that need to be accomplished in a set amount of time. You need to know this because that tells you how much time you can spend on each question and each section which will allow you to finish the question paper on time. It also means that if something is taking too much time, you can actually skip it and come back to it later if you have time. Tip number five, know your instructional verbs. This is a big one for a lot of people. Remember, the instructional verbs tell you exactly what you need to do to achieve marks in this question. So, for example, certain questions will start with verbs that says name, state, list. These usually mean short or one-word answers. While questions like, let's say, describe or explain or tabulate or illustrate or differentiate, those need a little bit more words or they need a specific thing like tabulate that needs a table. So these are usually longer answers and you have to be very careful about how you answer them. It's also important that you practice these types of questions if they are a weakness for you. Tip number six, read your answers again. So many learners make this mistake because sometimes you answer the question and you are sure that you are done with the question, but you're not actually clear enough in your answer. So you have to check was I clear enough? Did I answer the question that was asked? And did I use the correct terminology? Because in a lot of the subjects, you have to be very specific about the words that you use. And please remember that you also always need to check, does the answer match the mark allocation? If it was a five mark question, did I write enough to earn five marks? Tip number seven, write neatly. This sounds silly, but you need to make it easy for the examiner to give you marks. They can only do that if they can read what you have been writing. So if you need to slow down a little bit, do that in order to get those guaranteed marks. Tip number eight, don't waste time on making things pretty. Remember, a lot of questions have nothing to do with neatness. So if you're not gonna get marks for it, in an exam paper. Simply don't do it. Rather spend that time and energy on places where you can get marks. I hope this helps. Thank you for visiting the Chaotic Classroom. See you soon.